Hello everyone and welcome to the first video of this channel. It's the first time I'm doing it, so please be gentle and share your opinion in a positive way. First of all, a little disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor, so please do your own research and always invest what you can afford to lose. So now let's move on onto the game wiki. On the game wiki, you can find the BNX token address, just here. You will need one BNX to mint one hero. You can also find the gold address. The gold is the money that you will be rewarded from working. You can also get rewarded with BNX with a royal guard job. I'll show you later on. I also show you later on how to hire a hero. Here you can see how much it's going to cost you to upgrade your hero level and how much income multiplier you will get. The thing important here, it's from level 5 to 6. There is a failure probability. 25% failure probability. So if it fails, you lose a million gold, 50 BNX and the NFT as well. So think twice about it, but it can be really useful to get on the leaderboard and get really nice income multiplicator as well. Here are the different classes. For the moment, we've only seen warrior, Tiavs and mage. Didn't see any knight and ranger just came up yesterday on the game wiki actually. Here are the attributes and the fighting skill but there is not really important actually for the moment because dungeon are still not released the admin says it's gonna be soon so let's hope guys here are the daily work type and the daily mining life skill part-time jobs and all of them are full-time job royal guard is not listed on game wiki actually for the moment here are the salary and how the economy is working with the mining ratio, but I'll do a special video for that. I'll explain everything. So now let's move on a little bit onto the white paper. I'm going to show you a little bit the roadmap. I'm not going to show all because it's quite big roadmap. So just going to talk about a few things. Here we are, September. We are waiting for that dungeon adventure, equipment function, and treasure chest lottery system. Those three things will burn gold and make our economy great. That will cost gold to go in dungeon. You will need also gold to buy equipment and you will need gold to participate into the treasure chest lottery system. Other thing interesting is the character distraction function. I think it's going to be really useful for the part-timers. I'll explain more later when we'll see part-timers. And the last things that really really hyping me is the Cybertron Containment and Castle City Battle. That sounds to me like an open world, and that can be really big. So now, let's move on to the game. i show you how you can hire a hero. So if it's the first time for you, you will have to enable BNX and enable gold as well. So just click on it. There is a little MetaMask transaction that will pop. Just accept it. It's going to cost around 15 cent, I think, to accept it. And then you can recruit your hero. Just click on here. If you got Benix, which I don't, another MetaMask transaction will pop. You accept it. And you can find your hero here. You click on it. And you can see his attribute. I'm going to explain you in a few minutes what important attributes are 
for what different classes. Here you can see the upgrade system. My one is already level 3, so it cost me 150k to upgrade it. If you're level 1, it's gonna be 20k. So now let's see the different work. Here is the part time job. Part time jobs is for hero that does not have good abilities to go on a full time job. So part time job does not uh, give a really good salary, but it's still a nice earning. And I think what we've seen on the white paper about the distraction character can be interesting for part timers. I think they will have an option like destroying 3, 4 or 5 part timers to get a nice hero. I don't know, something like that I think. Here comes the full time job. So you can see for Lumberjack, for Warrior, you need to be level 2 and you need over, this is not really clear actually, but you need over 85 and over 68, 61 sorry. So you need to be 86 and 61. Same for mage and same for thieves. So be careful on that guys. I've seen a lot of people who've been scammed from the market that thinks they made a, a, a nice buy because uh, of the title, but always check the attribute. And the last job, is the royal guard which is pretty interesting but you need to be level 5 and above so royal guard you don't earn gold on this job only this job you earn bnx but this one and only this one as well is working like a pool system so more people in the royal guard less reward they will get if there is less people in the royal guard more reward they will get it's exactly like a pool system you can see here the average api is 583 but if like a dude came and put 20k it's gonna be way lower when i started to put on this actually it was at 800 percent what you can do with your part-timers if you don't want to wait for the character distraction and if you don't want to leave them as part-timers you can just sell them in the market but i think i'll do a special video for the market as well so i can show you everything So I'm going to now show you how to put your hero at work. I go to Lumberjack because I'm going to make him work my warrior. So I select the hero. I choose my warrior. I confirm. And now I start working. I'll have to pay gas fee. Gas fee on start working are actually pretty high, so do it wisely. But it's refound really quick, actually in like 20 minutes, 25 minutes farming gold, I will get back this gas fee. So you can see now that he's working. I'm going to show you now a little bit the liquidity mining system. So daily rewards be 1k BNX. To get in this liquidity mining system, you have to add liquidity by pancake swap. You go to liquidity, add liquidity, you choose BUSD and bnx and you add your liquidity 
they will give you cake LP that you can directly put it onto the liquidity system. Tell me if this is not really clear so I can cover it a little bit more, but I think it's pretty easy for everyone to add liquidity, so tell me. I think it's gonna be over for the first video, guys. Let me know uh, what you think about it. Please be gentle, it's the first time I'm doing it, so be nice. Tell me what you think I should be talking about. On the next video, I think I'll be talking about the economy and some other stuff, the market. So please be aware and subscribe if you're not. Have a good day, everyone.